Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So I've tried to attract a lot of positive attention to the Graphene OS project because I genuinely like the project and I think it's awesome at what it does. I actually use Graphene OS on my phone and I tried to hook up Graphene OS with my employer who has been giving a lot of grants to these open source projects that try to give people back control over their technology so that they could get a grant of $40,000, which they got. And this is a very uh, interesting very sad uh, set of messages that I got just so that nobody starts accusing me of taking fake screenshots. This is a video. You can see me moving around. This is my web browser. So this I got from STR Cat, which is Daniel McKay. I don't understand why you still have a supportive comment posted on TechLore's video attacking myself and Graphene OS with a bunch of ridiculous fabrications and spin. And what he's referring to is this video here from a person, TechLore, that I don't know from a hole in the wall. He's just posting a bunch of screenshots of what this gentleman has said to other people. And what I posted is this is informative and unfortunate. This is informative and unfortunate. I think it's unfortunate because I think that Daniel's communication style at times is a bit uh, ab abrasive, for lack of a better way to put it. And I, I look, again, don't know tech lore from a hole in the wall. I just thought that a lot of the screenshots he posted were kind of disappointing as somebody who really likes the project and thinks that leadership can reflect the project. And so what I, he says here is, I don't understand why you still have a supportive comment posted on TechLore's video attacking myself in Graphene OS. These attacks recently have uh, escalated to swatting attacks on me aimed at getting me killed by the police. I'm unwilling to tolerate people who are participating in any longer. I said, I thought some of the screenshots and how you communicated with others in that video were disappointing. He says, with context removed and some of them doctored, and I'd like to see the original screenshots. If, like, I, what specifically are you claiming you didn't say that you had that he doctored in there? I'm very curious. And in a video where he's stating endless fabrications unrelated to what he's showing, the screenshots are presented to mislead people, and he made sure to chop out the abuse being responded to. You're supporting someone who has orchestrated a harassment campaign against me for years, which recently escalated to swatting. My response, you're welcome to twist things to see it that way, but that's not reality at all. I wish you the best of luck with your project, man. I don't engage with these conversations. They're unhealthy. He says, you'll be banned if you don't remove support for tech lore, and there will be information published about your attacks on me in support of an abusive person. It is reality. You chose to attack the project this way. Abusive people and their supporters aren't welcome anymore. You're complicit in the harassment and swatting attacks against me. Now, in my opinion, this is going a little far. Because if you take a look, if you just do a search for my videos, you'll find two videos that have done pretty well on my channel. Graphene OS, the greatest mobile OS of all time. Common usability misconceptions debunked. That has over half a million views where I'm going over a lot of the issues that people claim they have, why they're not using Graphene OS. It doesn't work with my banking app. I can't use this. I don't get notifications. And I'm going over them one by one very simply and demonstrating that none of this is actually true. That you can still get notifications just as quickly as you did on a normal Android phone. That you can use your banking apps and everything else. And that apps that have issues, there's a little toggle button that allows you to use them without the hard memory allocator. So they work fine. And I even went over how I avoided a bug that was in the stock Pixels screenshot app because I was using Graphene OS. I think that I've been, you guys can tell me in the audience if I'm wrong here, but I think I've been quite an advocate for the project and that I've been a bit pro Graphene OS in my time here. Uh, continuing, uh, it says, you're com so I said this, let me be clear. One, you find my comment, quote, this is informative and unfortunate regarding the screenshots of how you communicated with people to be support for tech lore and attack for your project rather than disappointment in your communication style. And two, if I do not remove that comment on that video, I will be banned from the Graphene OS matrix after attracting thousands of people to the project. And three, you think I'm complicit in swatting you because I typed, and I quote, this is informative and unfortunate in a YouTube comment. He says, you'll be banned if you continue to support a highly abusive person who spread endless fabrications about me, including Dr. Screenshots. Yes, you're supporting the main person who organized a harassment campaign against me. You're lending credit, your credibility to him is a serious problem. The amount of users you've brought means nothing compared to aiding harassment targeting me. You could just stop supporting him and I would be happy. Could, keep in mind, I don't, I don't know tech lore from a hole in the wall. I literally watched a video filled with screenshots on how he communicates that, and he's yet to say which of these, at least to my knowledge, which of these communications are the ones that you doctored, you typed in something that he didn't actually say. And I really thought that the way he communicated sucked. Like, yes, I'm allowed to criticize you. I'm allowed to say, I love your project. I think Graphene OS is really cool. The way you talk to people is shit. There's no other way to put it. It's just, it's just kind of shit. I get it. Open source developers don't always have the best social skills, but this is just, I think, a shit way to talk to people and a pattern of having a shit way to talk to people. You could, uh, I asked you before, but now it is different after his community members swatted me. 
I'm not willing to tolerate people supporting his attacks anymore. And FYI, this is why myself and other project members have not made content with you. Your support for tech lore after I told you about it. What he's referring to is that usually anybody that gets a grant from FUTO, the organization that I work for, I ask to have on the channel for an interview to discuss their project so that more people can understand their project. So I have a playlist on my YouTube channel over here. It's a playlist that goes over all of the legendary grants. So over here, Futo, legendary grants. So here we have Ian Clark from Freenet, Marvin Winsfeld, Micro G, Nick Merrill from Calyx, and there's probably a few others that you'll be seeing on the channel for an interview at some point in time. So we also had the fellow on that did the live caption software. As you can see over here, this gentleman created a piece of live caption software via the fellowship program. I had him on for an interview. It's I usually do try to have everybody on for an interview that my employer decides to grant money to if I find it to be an interesting project. Uh, as long as you're supporting him, we aren't on good terms and I cannot build any trust with you. That is why none of that happened. I don't understand why you think I would make content with you when you were still supporting this and falling for fabrications. One of the reasons that I've offered to make content with people from Graphene OS is in the matrix, and I don't have time to look through this because I have a job I have to get to. You'll often see people are posting misinformation. I think that it is a community's responsibility to combat the misinformation. What Daniel McKay will say is that if the community does not combat misinformation about his project, that he will stop developing the project because he has to spend all of his time fighting misinformation rather than developing the project. So one of the ways I thought he could fight misinformation is to show up on a YouTube channel with over 1.7 million subscribers and explain all of this. I tried to do it in a video myself because he didn't want to come on, and I think that that video that got over half a million views did a pretty decent job. Again, the fact that you you can't get notifications in Graphene OS, BS. I demonstrated how to fix that. The idea that you can't use banking apps on Graphene OS, BS, you are able to fix that. Uh, you even asked me to make a video with you about the misinformation targeting me, and I don't see how you would think I can trust you with that when you're falling for this. So yes, I wanted to get the other side of the story. Again, if this guy over here, if he has doctored something, come on to my show and explain to my audience of 1.7 million people, what did he doctor? Which screenshot? What thing that he screenshotted you saying did you not actually say? I'm very curious, I wanna learn, and above all, I'm trying to give you a platform that's bigger than his. TechLore has 200,000 subscribers. I have 1.7 million. If you think he is wrong, why don't you come on here and tell seven times the audience why he is wrong? I think that that is a good thing. But no, I'm not going to delete my post that I found screenshots of what you said to be informative. For all I know, you'll do what he did and make another thoroughly dishonest hit piece with a bunch of fabrications. Nope, that's why I'm literally doing screenshots in my video so nobody can accuse me of this. I will even increase this so that you can see that, yeah, I'll reset the transform in Firefox so you can literally see all of the things that I have open right now because I know somebody is probably going to try accusing me of that. Here, we'll reset the transform over here. There you go. This is my Brave browser window, and this is my matrix client element that is open over here, just in case somebody says that. I am closing this conversation because I honestly find this to be incredibly unhealthy, and I'm not going to take part in it anymore. The only reason that I am posting this here is because it says there will be information published about your attacks on me in support of an abusive person. I made a video that got half a million views going over why I like your project, that I'm still using, by the way, going over all the usability misconceptions. But just because I left a comment on a YouTube video saying, that is informative and unfortunate, regarding your comments. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm allowed to say things that you don't like about your behavior. I'm allowed to have an opinion. And if I voice that opinion respectfully, I am not going to delete it because you threaten to expose me to people. It's a real shame because this is a really cool project. This is a really cool project. But if, like, the more you go down the rabbit hole of reading this stuff and the tweets and the logs and the... Ay, it has a lot of potential. I genuinely believe in the potential. And I have kept my mouth shut about this for a long time. I have screenshots up the wazoo of weird and crazy things that he has deleted from that Matrix chat when talking to me because it's just let bygones be bygones, let him make his project and all that. But like, this is just ridiculous. Like I, I, I just, I got up, I walked over here. I was going to type something out to my Minnesota lobbyist because I won't be there. They're coming up with a celebratory day have a event because a bill got passed and I wake up to a wall of text the whole thing so I can't be accused of having something out of context here ah. I'm not even going to read this whole thing you can read it if you want you can pause the screen 
At one point, he's like, if you have an issue with autistic people communicating and thinking differently than you, then that's your issue. And I said, just up front, autism is not an excuse to bully people. And this is this just seems like the biggest cry bully thing. I'll be honest with you. It just seems like the biggest, I'm going to punch somebody in the face at a bar and then call the cops. And it's literally continuing. It's continuing. This is attempted, like that is attempted. Dude, I left a YouTube comment saying that is informative. Attempted. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. The entire reason that I'm running this operating system on my phone is because I believe in privacy and security. Do I feel comfortable running your code on my phone after reading this? Not really. <laughs> I'll be honest. I know that, like, again, I'm not meaning to attack the project, but like, put yourself in my position. Put yourself in my position. Understand what I do with my phone. Understand the businesses that I run with my phone, though, everything that I do with my phone. This person sending me these messages is writing the code that shows up on my phone. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be comfortable with that? No. Not one bit. And I know how this is going to end. Lewis is doing this to damage the project. He's doing this because he wants to destroy. I invited you on to promote your project and go over all of this over and over again. I have a video with half a million views on my channel going over why I think this is a cool project. And I use it every single day. Well, used. I can't keep this on my phone after this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Am I an evil? Am I taking part in the swatting and harassment and whatever of these people? Or am I a dude that left a YouTube comment because I was disappointed in the manner within which somebody was communicating? I'll be honest with you. The part of this that pissed me off the most, and I'll include all the chat logs down below. I honestly didn't read the rest of this just because if I did, it would probably ruin my day, uh, is the part where he said, if you have an issue with autistic people communicating and thinking differently than you, that's your issue. As some of you know, I did a video last month where I live-streamed me taking an Asperger's test, which had me, to the great surprise of my audience, especially the female members, very far from the neurotypical side of it. I was pretty much in the exact opposite of neurotypical side of it, and I have several friends that are about as far on the spectrum, if not further, than I am. Needless to say, one of the things that I found really offensive is this idea that you can use being autistic as an excuse to bully people. I have noticed routinely, and I'll post the chat logs down below, there is this pattern of him demanding people do things his way, speak the way he wants to be spoken to, say what he allows them to say in public, and so on and so forth, but then claims that this is all okay because he's the victim. He's the one being bullied. And he, he kind of cloaks himself in this victimhood and then uses that cloak of victimhood to justify being a bully. And when you do that, that's one thing. But when you start saying, well, that's no, that's not because you're autistic. Ruining the reputation of people who are actually autistic that do not use it as a cloak and an excuse to actually bully other people. So I just finished the conversation with this. Daniel, there is this pattern of you bullying people and then wrapping yourself in a cloak of victimhood. If you're the victim, then all your outbursts and, act and accusations are justifiable. They're not. This isn't normal. You are claiming I am complicit in people trying to murder you because I made a YouTube comment on a video where someone pointed to chat screenshots of you displaying very similar behavior that you are here. That's insane. Above all, I am genuinely offended at you saying, and if you have an issue with autistic people communicating and thinking differently than you, that's your issue. As someone on the spectrum and as someone who has best friends in the spectrum, autism is not an excuse to bully people, nor does it justify acting like this. You've acted like this towards me in EVA email last year, in this matrix room, and in chat today, long enough to have gotten most basic therapy. I felt bad for you before. I do not anymore. I made you an offer in good faith to discuss all of your concerns in a video, but I am not doing that with someone who goes out of their way to manipulate me as you have here. You have set things up as if I have ruined a relationship, but if I do what you say, I can earn being in your good graces and good standing with you, as if I'm supposed to eat the breadcrumbs you lay for me and chase them. No, Daniel, you don't get to falsely accuse me of being complicit in people trying to kill you and then get to have a conversation with me on my channel. That isn't how this works. I'm leaving this room and Ed would ask that you refrain from talking to me ever again. Now, here's the sad thing about all of this. I have to delete this operating system from my phone. I cannot use an operating system from somebody that talks the way this gentleman has over and over and over again. I'm going to include three chat logs down below. Anybody who's actually interested in reading this stuff. The sad thing is I still genuinely believe that he's a genius programmer, and I still genuinely believe to this to be an amazingly secure operating system. The problem is that I'm dumb. I can't code. I can't do hello world. I cannot audit the source code of what is on my phone to figure out if there's any screwery on it and 
there's just no way in hell I'm trusting this individual in this state of mental health with this adversarial relationship to not do something weird there. Again, I am not smart enough to audit the source code on my phone. And I, I, I run two nonprofits, two for-profits, and have a full-time job, and I value my privacy. I cannot audit the source code of what is on my phone because I am an idiot. I also can't trust this. Like, in your heart of hearts, if you were me, could you trust running an operating system from somebody this narcissistic on your phone, knowing that they have this type of adversarial relationship with you? Like, would you do that? You are taking part in a harassment campaign against me because your employer donated money to another Android ROM called Calyx. You are taking part in a harassment and doxing and murder, stalking, shooting com campaign against me because you left a comment on a YouTube video saying informative and disappointing. No, this is crazy. This is genuinely crazy. This is like a real, and anybody who's actually had a deal with these types of people in their life that cloak themselves in victimhood to allow themselves to be bullies that have this narcissistic behavior pattern will pick it up immediately. This is weird. And it's just one of those things where it's, it's so sad because it's such an amazing project that I will never feel comfortable running the code of on my phone ever again, as long as this person is involved with it. I feel sick doing this video. I really do. Because after those conversations back and forth in September where I'm saying, like, do you honestly think all these people are against you? Like, really, all of them, all of the Calyx people, the Mozilla Foundation, me, like, people, like, literally people that have done their best to actually get people to give you money and give you good publicity because you make something cool. It's so sad. It's so sad because it is such a waste of a talented mind and a talented project that like i like i've been th i've put off doing this type of video for a very long time you have to understand that there were many moments where i felt like publicizing this and i did not but like this is it this just blew this just blew my stack today like i wake up wanting to go over how to celebrate minnesota right to repair and i wake up to a bunch of messages from the lead developer of the operating system I run on my phone, implying that I am complicit in trying to have him murdered because of a YouTube comment that said, this is disappointing and informative on a video with print screens of chat logs of him saying crazy people. No, like enough is enough, man. Enough is enough. I hope that at some point, I genuinely do. I hope at some point that he gets the therapy that he needs and all of this gets fixed. Until then, I'm not touching this anymore. I'm sorry. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.